Mighty Mouse UFL on that YouTube. Go subscribe, ring that bell for the notifications. Hey, look, guys, um, I'm going to show you guys some tips, man, on how to bench the 405, man. I'm 175 pounds right now. I know I look a lot bigger. Um, I will be fighting at 160, but I'm 175 pounds right now. Um, I know I'm jacked. I'm 5'8". For those who always ask how tall I am, I'm 5'8". Um, listen, I used to power for the USAPLs. And I'm going to show you guys some uh, certain tricks, man, on how to bench that 405. Um, or get past your max, man. And they have to be legit lifts. Um, all right. Number one, uh, in the USAPLs and in most powerlifting organizations, you cannot lift your ass off the, off the bench. So when I say lift your ass off the bench, I mean, what I mean is, is that you cannot lift your butt up while you're lifting. A lot of guys try to get that butt off their bench to get that extra push. You can't do that in, in a legit lift. The other guys that I've seen some videos of these guys that come in here and they bounce their bar off their chest. Uh, I seen a guy the other day benching the 315 on video, um, bouncing the bar off his chest. That's not a lift. That's not a correct lift. It's not going to fly in a real, uh, in a real tournament. Um, so. Those type of things are not good lifts, all right? Another one is you have to pause the bar on your chest before you press, all right? You can't just come down and bounce the bar and come up. The bar has to be paused, then they say lift, you lift, all right? For you to get three green lights, all of those lifts have to be performed. All of those techniques have got to be performed, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you different ways to get your bench higher, all right? In my video, you can't really see how I'm getting an arch, all right, uh, but I arch very high, but my ass is still on the bench. So what I'm doing is, is I'm sliding underneath the bar and then I'm pushing my back all the way out. I'm bringing my butt almost as high as I can to my shoulders, all right? So I have a huge arch, all right? So I'm like this on the bench, all right? I'm not laying flat. I'm not flat on the bench. I have an arch on my back, but my ass is still on the bench. That's the important part, all right? Now, another thing is, Guys flail their elbows out to the side and they try to press out. Listen, a lot of the bench presses are used with your back, all right, with your lats. You want to keep those elbows angled in, all right, angled in, and then you're lifting. Bring the bar back towards the bench, all right, all right, bring it, you're using your lats, keeping everything very tight. Listen, when you bring that bar down, almost pretend like it's a slingshot. You come down, you get that pause, and then you lift. All right, you push. Now remember, when you get to the top of your push, you have to use those lats. Remember, when you get to the top of your push, you can't rack that weight until the judges say rack, all right? Those are three all important things. No ass lifting, uh, make sure you pause on the bench and, um, and uh, make sure that you don't rack it until the judges say rack the weight, all right? Now, um, like I said, man, I might do a master's division powerlifting uh, tournament um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I can break the state record right now on raw bench. Um, if I can do the, uh, I'm trying to do maybe 425 at 170 pounds. So we're going to see what I can do. Um, my shoulders really can't take a lot of the lifting, and I actually didn't even think I could lift um, what I'm lifting right now. So uh, that being said, I'm going to take you guys out here. I'm going to show you the 405 um, on the bench, and. I'm telling you guys, it, uh, those tricks, man, will help out a lot. Also, to build your bench, um, you want to build up, you want to get your tricep strength up in your back, all right? Because, uh, you know, it's not all about your chest. Everybody thinks that the bench is their chest. It's not. It's a lot of their back and a lot of their triceps. So make sure that you're getting those ancillary muscles in as well if you want to have a stronger bench. Uh, there's also tricks and trades that you can look up, man. I'm going to tell you guys a good low, uh, uh, place to look. Look at Westside Barbell Club. I do a lot of their percentages back when I was powerlifting really heavy. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I broke uh, the USAPL state record back when I was 25 years old in the state of Virginia. All right. Um, but I was a lot heavier. I was uh, 242. I competed at 242 and I competed at 220. Um, I broke the state record at uh, 220, at 25 in the juniors uh, division. And... Um, in the state of Virginia, USAPLs is like 2004. I did 501 pounds, all right? I can't lift nowhere near that now. And I'm a lot lighter as well, and I'm a lot older, I'm 42. So that being said, man, um, also, when you look at the Westside Barbell Club stuff, man, they got a lot of stuff, and I'm gonna tell you three different things. I'm not really gonna get into them, but um, you got board presses, you got chains, and you got bands. And you can use all three of those, except for the boards. You can use all of those with your squats and your deadlifts as well, especially the bands and the chains, all right? 
board presses. I'm not going to get into a lot of this stuff, man. You can look up these things individually. This is just basically, I'm just showing you some techniques that will help you get past your, your max. But um, check out board presses, chains, and bands when it comes to powerlifting, man. If you guys want to get stronger, these are necessities, man. These guys are coming here, and they just max out every single time they come in the gym. That's not going to work. Um, you're not going to get stronger. You have to do percentages when you're doing heavy bench and you're powerlifting. You have to do percentages. So check those out. Getting ready to go out here and do this lift for you guys. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, the dates, uh, I mean the times have, uh, not the times, the location has changed for the fights. The fights will now be at 8422 Zell Lane, Richmond, Virginia, February 22nd at 2 p.m. So you guys make it out there. Um, it'll be on Saturday. Don't miss this event. It'll be in Richmond, Virginia, man. We're not doing the venue this time. We'll be back up in Richmond, Virginia on February 22nd, man. So holler at me. I'll be live down in Florida. If you're in Team Fusion XL, if you're at uh, America's Top Team, we've got a bunch of different boxing gyms we're going to as well. So if you guys want to come out there, if you guys come out, Orlando and Miami, I'll be down there um, from the 11th, which is tomorrow, to the 20th of uh, February, man. And we're running fights on the 22nd, man. So stay tuned. Ring that bell for the notifications. Big lifts coming. Um, we're gonna keep on getting strong. We're gonna keep on getting uh, you know, cutting this weight down, and we're going hard. All right, y'all. Mighty Mouse on that YouTube.